Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. You are not applying wisdom. So from my point of view, I think let us also apply uh, wisdom let us also apply responsibility when we are asking for this uh, uh, so-called public order act the police arrest and uh, in a long detention the, the archbishops the bishops spoke about uh, uh, you know the way some members uh, you know are, are arrested you know that they are arrested roughly and so on and so forth I agree there are situations where really it is not necessary that the police use a, you know, force in the manner that they do. I agree. In certain cases, really, it is not necessary. But there is also a situation where some, some, some people, you are sent a call out, they send you a call out and you don't go. You know, they send you a call out and you don't go. So what do you expect? Eh? If Makapukala wak to me na call out Tawileko, then what do you expect? What do you expect? Let's just be honest. You back to me na call out and you don't respond. What do you expect? What do you expect? So it is both ways. It is both ways. On our part, there should be responsibility. If they send a call out to you, please comply. If they don't, if you don't go and then you lock yourself up in the house, what do you expect? What do you expect Bagapogola to do? Bale kufuaya. Bale kutumina call out. Ero yo why I come in a munganda. I mean, what do you what do you want Bagapogola to do? Eh? What do you want Bagapogola to do in such a situation? What do you want Bagapogola to do? Of course, I am saying where they have sent you a call out. Not where they have not sent you a call out. There it is wrong for Bagapogola to use force. But where they send you a call out, and you instead of going, you are a social media, you are a social media, instead of going to work a popular, you are a social media, you start insulting. What do you expect a popular to do? So, some of these issues, I mean, everyone there that it's balanced. That pastor rate is balanced. We should look at it from the government point of view, but we should also look at it from our side. As responsible citizens, as responsible politicians. Long detentions, long detentions, they are not acceptable. That's for sure. And Wakapokola need to do much better on that. Long detention, and they, these long detentions, they are not only on politicians. Me, I've been in Maseozi and I've met, I've found our Iche who have done nothing in Kongole, Pankongole, Umuntu, Adi Kalam Maseozi one month. So this is something that the police really need to work on. This one, we can't even say whichever, whichever. Uh -uh. Baka Pokola, they need to work on these long detentions. So a lot of people are detained for a long time for cases that really do not require somebody to stay muscles for a long time. So this is something that the police really needs to look at. Uh, I'm not going to even look at, uh-uh. Baka Pokola, you need to look at this one. You, you keep people muscles for too long. And I'm not even going to talk about politicians because, yes, if I today, you know, one week in but there are people, innocent people, young people, about muscles. And this is something that the IG, you know, the command should work on. The command, please work on this issue of detaining people for too long. There are too many people that are languishing muscles. For a long time, please, please, please work on that one. Let us, you know, make our society better. There are too many people that are inside there 
who are staying there for a, for a long time. The other point that the, the bishops brought in, uh, to 1.2, you know, they complained, the bishops complained to say, look, there is too much polit politics and we are trivializing matters. Eh? Matters which are supposed to be serious. We are bringing in politics too much. Eh? For those who are our government, Ngawachita criticize, you know, it's both on both sides. Huh? Where, but our government, Ngawachita criticize, they start saying, ah, you, you are just frustrated. Hey, shan, shan, shan. You know, that's how, that's how they react. But at the same time, those who are in opposition, if you also talk about something that is in the they will call you names. You have been paid. You see? We are talking about real issues. We, you bring a real issue. And the people, instead of responding to your issues, they start calling you names. The, the bishops spoke about this. And from my point of view, especially me, it has been on, on both sides. Government, they have there are those who support UPND, they have called me names, they have called me frustrated, what, what. And those are the core position, I mean, they have called me names, hey, you have been paid. Come on, look at the issue that I'm talking about. When I started talking about the issue, I started talking about the issue, you have a PF to save a PF. Can you make a decision with Balungu? Whether Balungu is coming back or not, make a decision. Mwari njimina ba you ba PF ba PF mwari njimina eh now you have been paid you have been bought what 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 now look where we are look where we are eh ba you PND on the other side when I spoke some of these issues delayed salaries for example delayed salaries a eh, minimum wage eh 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 Lungu is paying you Lungu is is renting your house. Hello, can we look at the issue that I'm talking about? Can we look at the issue that we're talking about? Why can't we just look at the issues instead of bringing in these trivializing matters and calling each other names? And this, we see it on, on both aisles. It is not just those who are in the ruling party. It is also those who are in, who are in, who are in opposition. You can't agree with government. You can't agree with co-opposition. You can't criticize the government. Nishi, you are frustrated. No, it shouldn't be like that. And this is what the, 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 the bishops uh, um, uh, spoke about. They also touched on the issue of the judiciary. And basically they implored on the, on the chief justice that cases should be expedited. Because our cases, they take too long. Eh? They take too long. And some of these cases, really, you are innocent. But, uh, you know, you, the case, when the case to take too long, I mean, it's, it's something else. Eh? Look at the case of Chris Zumanzimba, for example. The case of Chris Zumanzimba, Chris Zumanzimba is still in there. And at the end of the day, even if you are acquitted, it is as good as you have saved the sentence, you know. It is as good as you have saved the sentence. So this one was just, uh, you know, uh, you know, talking about the, the chief justice, urging him to see how the cases can be expedited. But of course, we can also understand. I mean, our judiciary, you know, the, the, our courts, our judges and the magistrates, they are not enough. We need more judges and, and the magistrates. So sometimes you can also understand... Uh, the delayments, but really it would be good if some of these cases are expedited or if cases are expedited. Parliament, 1.4. Eh, the bishops expressed concern on, on Parliament, what has been happening in Parliament. And there again, someone would say, no, the bishops have bombarded eh, the, the speaker and everything. No. In my view, they took a very balanced, balanced position. They are asking all the members of parliament, including the speaker, to be above board, to be above board, to accept criticism. 
members of parliament, they are supposed to conduct themselves above board. Above board meaning following the standing orders. Following the standing orders. They must follow the standing orders. Yes, the speaker must be not so, she must not be so heavy handed. Which I have even spoken about here that our speaker is quite heavy handed and sometimes quite emotional. She needs to, you know, reduce on the emotions. And another important point that the, the, the bishops raised is that parliament should not be partisan. Parliament should not be partisan. Presiding officer should not be partisan. Whereby you are just looking at it from a political point of view. From your political point of view. As a legislature, as, as an arm of government, members of parliament must look at the, 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 the good of the country and not just looking at it from a political point of view. So, this one, it is for all members of parliament to check themselves. How do they conduct themselves? The, the speaker, how does she conduct herself? How does she, you know, uh, um, help the members of parliament to, to, to debate? So from my point of view, I mean, it was a very fair comment, a very, very fair comment to all of them. Then uh, 1.5, politicians should avoid using uncouth and abusive language. And this again, it is on both sides. We like to use these, these words. We, we can be so heartless in the way that we conduct our our politics. We can be so heartless in the way that we conduct our politics. And this is what I was actually thinking about uh, today. You know, today I took uh, my time to think about my life and everything. And I realized that sometimes I've also come out very strong on certain people, which of which I want to apologize. There is actually one lady um, who I, I want to apologize to. You know, though I wrote this article some time back, a long time, but I thought about it and um, I, 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 I want to apologize. I also want to reach out to Vanevas Mumba. I also want to reach out to Vanevas Mumba because, yes, I've come out, I think I've come out quite strong on Vanevas Mumba. But I will come, I will come back to that later, later on. But the, the bishops address this matter. And so when they were when they when when the the, the 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 bishop was reading it out, I thought to myself, I said, yeah, I'm also caught up. There are times that I mean we use words that are too strong for others. And I think it is not right. And the bishops are coming out. Now tell me which politician in Zambia, whether co opposition or co ruling party, who you know use words sparingly you know sometimes we are too strong and the archbishop and the bishops spoke about this the bishops spoke about this addressing all of us not just one party but both uh, both uh, both parties those in the ruling and those in the opposition you know and they said embrace criticisms some of us politicians we don't embrace criticism Eh? You block people. You block. Let us embrace criticisms. Okay? So then um, um, then they spoke about uh, you know economic uh, economic uh, economic issues on uh, point number two. On economic issues, like I've been saying that this government they are they are enjoying a global goodwill. They're enjoying a global goodwill. And as a country, we are on the road to repair our economy. And to, for you to repair the economy, you must have the goodwill. You must be enjoying the goodwill. So far, I think this government is enjoying, is enjoying goodwill more than the PF did. And therefore, they are on the right track to help this country rebuild the economy. And what is the sign of that? The sign of that, the sign of that is particularly the agreement with IMF and the debt restructuring. That really is, 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 is a milestone. The, UP, the PF tried so much to do that, they didn't succeed. But now, by UPND, at least 
they have got that goodwill and they are trying to put things uh, you know on the on the right track however there is a big challenge at the moment we have an economic uh, meltdown global prices of commodities are going high everywhere they are going high everywhere and the problem that is there that we have now is that instead of us sympathizing with our government in give encouragement to our government we are busy trying to pull the government down we are busy trying to take advantage of the situation to propel our political ambitions but i want to tell you my brothers and sisters zambians i want to tell you this there is no government that can come into power today and it perform miracles it can't happen there is no government that can come today and perform miracles because some of you you get cheated you think that you know maybe uh, uh, if he comes in he can reduce the, the minimum prices you can't you can't you can't you can't if there is a politician who is coming who is coming to tell you to say no me i can come fiabufi fiabufi because the economy of a country doesn't work like a personal economy like munganda it, it doesn't work out like that it is complicated you need other forces to come in to help you you need them you need especially we are living in a global village so you can't do things just on your own for example a good example that i can give you is this fuel that we complain about how can someone reduce fuel when fuel where you are buying it is expensive how how are you going to do it no we can subsidize and yes i'm one of those people who have said that let us subsidize but you subsidize where are you going to get the money where are you going to get the money because you want to repair the economy so on the issue of the economy for me what i'm basically saying is that let us support each other let us support baaka in the let us support this government and see how far they can go. It is not that we should not criticize them. We should criticize them. We should criticize them. We should criticize them just like the bishops have spoken. Their bishops have said, can you, can you renew, can you look at the tax concessions, eh? the tax regimes, look at them, see where you can make some changes where you can make some changes so that at least you can have some extra money than giving a uh, tax holidays when you need the money so we can criticize but as we are criticizing let us not pull the government down let us not pull the government down because even if we pull this government down the government that would come would still find the problems in the same way that the UPND has it and they may not even enjoy the goodwill that this government is enjoying. So let us just support them uh, from my point of view. I know when I'm saying this, some people say, hey, nava kulishamo, nava kulishamo. but it's a fact. Kumalawilelo. In Malawi today, they have increased petrol by 42%. 42%. Eh? 42% they have increased. Electricity, they have increased by 40%. Because of what? Because, I mean, the dollar is, is appreciating and one kind of fuel is expensive as a result. Because of what? Because of the war in Ukraine. As much as you may refuse the war in Ukraine, it's a reality. As much as you can refuse the war in the Middle East, it is a reality. And these things are affecting us. They are affecting us. So you can talk and talk as much as you want whilst on the other side you are saying no there is no democracy there is no democracy but you are busy talking 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 eh could if you were hey shan shan you are talking so we need to be realistic the archbishop the bishop spoke about this they also spoke about the minimum prices which from my point of view it is a, it is a serious problem that needs to be addressed it's a big problem it's not as simple as you know one two three no no it is a serious challenge i know some people say no hey because they sold maize and whatever whatever come on that is long gone we still have a challenge 
over you know food prices uh you know going high globally globally inflation is increasing globally not just in zambia uh -uh. it is happening in in many countries what is the other issue that they touched on which i can look at uh inflation i've spoken about that tax regime i've talked to, spoken about this agriculture um yeah then they spoke about cdf it is true governments need to look at cdf because you cannot be talking about cdf to say no we have increased the cdf to 28 chakuti hey whatever whatever but you only give people six 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 thousand this year constituencies have only received six thousand they have only received six thousand uh, six six million sorry six million uh, what about the balance so uh, i mean we need to do more uh, on 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 cdf social media social media Aban Bishop Subashirandapo. Ati mule kwa kutukana pa social media. Mule kano kututa create tuma fake pages. You like creating fake pages to be insulting people, to be scandalizing people. Mule ke. Vashirandapo ma Bishop. So don't just be excited. Eh, hey, hey, Pastor Reta, Pastor Reta. Eh, hey, in reference to others. Na iwa wine. Even you. Na wakuta chako. At least on social media. Because on social media mwalichila mo. Mwalichila mo. Mwalichila mo kututa scandalize awan tu. Mule kama so, ama, ama bishops na wakanya. Hmm? Na wala ndapo na wasuka. Of course, wachisara ndapo na ishi ya wa Lucifer. Ya wa imenda. I think wa imenda wa mdala, you need to apologize. You need to apologize clearly. The bishops spoke about this. In Basically, they are saying, you know, you need to apologize. You need to apologize. Uh, just humble yourself and apologize. Information bill, information bill is, is in parliament. You know, yeah. And they invited all Zambians to defend democracy, to look at the constitution and whatever, whatever. So for me, it is it is a very fair a uh, pastoral letter, which touches on everyone. And if you are objective, you will see something on which you can change. But if you don't see where you can change, you are just looking at hey, then you are a hypocrite. Then you are a hypocrite. But if you are not a hypocrite, you will look at that pastorator, you will read it, and you will see that it challenges you in one way or the other. For me, I've been challenged, and I'm going to take necessary actions in my, in my engagements going forward. Alright, that's all right for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.